Hello, YouTubers. This is the Nubifier. I recently reviewed the Ninja 5 from Scythe, and they were nice enough to let me push a little bit deeper into their product line with the second video idea. The first video explains the tech and benefits of heat pipe based coolers. That's linked up for you right now in case you missed it. Today, my plan was to take two actual computers from friends that I game with, perform some baseline tests, upgrade their cooling solutions, and then test again. If there's any thermal headroom after the upgrade, I plan to push an overclock to see if I can get a little bit more without reduced stability. Let's begin. In the last video, I tested the Ninja 5, its site's biggest air cooler, which may be overkill or even too large for some applications. It's safe to say that you can't keep a CPU too cool unless you're running some exotics like LN2. You can never be too far away from thermal throttling. Throttling is the point where the CPU automatically reduces performance to prevent damage. If you can keep the CPU below throttling, your performance never drops. Both donor systems today were running on the stock Intel CPU cooler. Fine for basics, but during gaming, they're probably going to heat soak, resulting in slowdowns. This effect is even more crippling on low and mid-low systems that were built on a tight budget. The first PC is a 4th gen Intel i3 4370 with 8 gigs of RAM and a 1050 Ti. The owner of the computer, whose name is Chad, says that after a period of time, the computer gets slower and it becomes loud. I hit Cinebench to load down the CPU while keeping an eye on the temperatures. They shot up really quickly and then leveled out once the chip started to throttle. Back-to-back -back scores got even worse, so I decided to install the Big Shrinken 3. Its installation was easy and I didn't even need to unplug any of the wires. The pins in the backing plate are supported by rubber and once the motherboard was screwed back into place, four nuts, two bars, and you're ready to install the cooler. With the paste applied and the protective film removed, simply tighten the two screws and connect the fan PWM header. I ran the test back to back three times after that. Those three scores were within margin of error, the CPU was a full 10 degrees cooler, and the PC ran a full 10 dB quieter. A nice tangible result from a $40 upgrade. The second PC was built several years ago with performance and budget in mind. It's a third gen i5-3570K with 16 gigs of DDR3 and a SATA SSD. Because it has a 980 Ti, it performs very well in most game titles with only a slight drop in frames after 10 minutes. It's probably throttling on the stock cooler and to combat this, the two fans at the top and the bottom of the case were set to full speed. This PC sounds like it's trying to take off. The Musion 5 tower cooler sits in the airflow on this case, so I believe that I can run it full passive relying only on the case fans. The baseline score in Cinebench progressively got worse pass after pass on the stock cooler. I removed both of the old fans and installed the two 120mm fans that were included with the cooler. Normally these are supposed to clip onto the cooler in a push-pull configuration, but given the age and the TDP of the CPU and how air moves through this case, passive should be fine. The results on this computer were even better. 12 degrees less on average, 10 dB quieter, so I decided to try an overclock of plus 5%. The computer ran stable and quiet. A second great example of a simple and cost-effective upgrade. The channel is known for no bullshit, so I'm going to stop there. I wanted to thank Scythe very much for providing this gear to test a theory that I had. Their quality versus price point are amongst the best in the business. They've always made beautiful and silent coolers at bargain prices. Thank you very much for spending your time with me, and I wanted to reassure the community that I haven't given up on Star Citizen at all. 3.6 is around the corner and I plan to explore all aspects of that patch. If you're interested in any of Scythe's products, I have them listed in the description. If you have questions, please ask in the comments, I'll get back to you. Fly safe and I'll see you in the verse.